So what are we on? This is like chess session. What are we? Let me pull. I lost count. Yeah. Seventeen. Indeed, this is session seventeen. On the on the seventeenth, even. Dude, that's 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 creepy. Constitution Day. Yeah, yeah, that thing. All right, so the server is up. People are getting logged in. And Fred Boat is doing its thing. Guys, if you're stuck on attempting to resolve connection, try updating again. Oh, is it broken? Well, you know, if if the GM, the server updates after you update, I don't know. Sometimes it just, it doesn't, even if you're within a few minutes of one another, it helps to update afterwards. Oh, okay. I updated like 10 minutes ago but I was stuck and couldn't get in. And then I updated again and it went right in. Okay. It's the small things, I guess, right? With all these different uh, virtual tabletops coming out lately, man, I just wonder if like I've tied myself to the uh, open RPG of virtual tabletops <laughs> or like map tools. I don't know, because, you know, I've watched a lot of them, like Astral came out, and now Astral's dead. Um, I just don't think, you know, they're all trying to be the, the best free or low price virtual tabletop. Yeah. And I just don't think they're going to survive. I think that Fantasy Grounds has a pay method that people understand, and, you know, if they don't like it, they at least appreciate it. Yeah, and I just think the, the the thing that it sold me on it was that only I had to buy it. I didn't have to convince the group to buy it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because, like, I, I had five seats, you know. So, I don't know. Like, it was, like, Foundry. I don't, I don't know what's cool about that. Uh, Foundry is, it's, uh... It's completely, you know, you just uh, trying to remember exactly what's great about Foundry. Um, well, for one, or well, the main thing about it is you just, it's a one purchase thing, like one person, a GM purchases it, and that's all you need. Okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of like Fantasy Grounds, except it's, it's supposedly supposed to be uh, easier to manipulate. You know, it's. Yeah, I found it a bit easier sometimes. Uh, the biggest thing I don't like about Foundry is either I've got to set up a server that I don't mind other people having access to, or I've got to pay a monthly fee to have someone give me a set up a server that people can join. Um, yeah, fair. Otherwise, I mean, it's it's just like Fantasy Grounds. Unless you unless you set up a server that's always on, then People can only join it when you have the server up. Kind of like Fantasy Grounds. Yeah, exactly. Um, I did for a while have the Foundry with a, a membership to some other uh, server provider and had it set up for a while. But, you know, if you're actively using it, yeah, it's probably not too bad. But if yeah, you're, sure. you know, if you're only playing on it once a week, once a month, it's probably not worth the money. Yeah, how is the uh, like the the material support? Like, I could, I could download a new book or or, or it's like... they're starting to get things better. Uh, one of the things is the core rules were pretty much included with it, um, but I don't know how well they kept up with like the additional resources and stuff. Yeah. I for the really... most part, it or like for Pathfinder and Starfinder, it pulls from the SRD. Okay. 
And then if you want like an adventure, you have to generally upload. You, there's a, like an add-on for uploading that yourself, basically. Oh, yeah, I'm lazy for that. <laughs> it's not that. I mean, it's just you click. You, if you bought the PDF, you click upload and you're done. Oh, okay. It it basically worked. I didn't like the way it did a lot of stuff. I haven't That's used fair. it recently. That was maybe a year ago, probably. But uh, um, I mean, it it got all the textual data in there um, and all the images and stuff. So it made it easier yeah. to manipulate once it was all in there. But I don't know. Yeah, I just had to. I had to hook. I had to hitch myself to one of the bad wagons, and I just hope this is the right one. <laughs> Cause I was, yeah, I remember open RPG like way back in the early two thousands. It's still around too. Okay. I mean, worst case, you won't lose it though, right? No, I mean I've already paid for it, so. Yep, you paid for it. You've got it. You're done. You're not continually paying for it. So unless you're unless you continue to want to get the other stuff. Yeah, unlike freaking was it like the what's uh Hero Lab now. <laughs> They don't yeah. laugh at me for using Hero Lab. Do what? I said, don't laugh at me for using Hero Lab. No, I have no problem with it. I just don't like the subscription model. Their subscription yeah. model kind of sucks, but one of the things I do like about it is I'm able to purchase the higher tier, and then my kids can use all of my resources as long as they're in my campaigns. That'd be nice. So I just make a campaign for the kids to be in, and then they can use all my resources. Hmm. Yeah, see, I'm I like, stopped like, using Hero Lab as well when they went to the uh, subscription stuff. I still have all my old stuff, but like I, yeah. don't, I don't buy anything from them anymore. Yeah, I, got, I got the original the Hero Lab classic or whatever the hell, but I mean, I haven't played Pathfinder 1 in forever, so. Same. On both counts. It's useful because the kids have an easier time with the digital character sheets yeah. and stuff. So it works really good at our table. I do like that ad, that Android app you pointed me and pointed to me too. That like was Star Builder or something. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty. I I that one. Yeah, I use it on my tablet on my Chromebook, and uh, that, that works pretty pretty nice. Uh, yeah, the Open RPG is from like back in two thousand when they started it, <laughs> so. <laughs> It's been around forever. That and map tool. But anyways, reminiscing. Okay, so yeah. we're back here. Where do we where do we leave off? I think we left off at, at something. I think we were at our initial settlement. No. Oh no, we're underneath E. Underneath. I just see the tip of the flag sticking out, I think. E, huh? I should probably open the look at the PDF on here. Okay, you're underneath E, which what is E? Is oh, oh person? yes, and you guys did the spelunking and stuff. Yeah, you guys went spelunking, and then I think we were still spelunking, weren't we? Yes, and then you came to an opening, I believe. Yeah, that's where you stopped. We had just reached some new area. Yes, I wanted to, you guys wanted to like, you know, well, I wanted you guys to want to wait <laughs> until freaking we were all here because, um, yeah. Okay, thing, open up. Okay, so you guys are all, I should probably just share this with you guys again. All right, so we're all here on this map now. Oh, yeah, the map. I do about this map. Okay, just making it's sure. It's the map. Fits the map. Let it's me. The map. I have to add what's his face to. Uh, Thank you. I don't know where he is. Am I the what's its face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are. Oh, <laughs> I right. used you. We found the Sorry. thing that none of us could read what it was. How do I add him to the freaking map? You add him to the combat tracker first. And where's my car? I don't know. Uh, it's it's back back in the thing. All right, now I'm going to just drag him there. There you go, Fairbanks. You should be on the map now. Uh, I am. Thank you. 
You found a thing and none of you could identify what it was. Eh? Oh, that's right. The right in your language. The language. <laughs> oh, wait. It's in the witch weird language? Yes. I was yes. like... <laughs> <laughs> oh we're all, I'm, like, I'm like, what the hell is this language? And I had to look it up on the SRD. I'm like, oh my god, it's not. It's that happens to be the one race that Fairbanks is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. What's my uh, so uh, what's our language again? I gotta look at it. It's like witch weird. Uh, I can't remember if it's called witch weird or not. Yeah, um, something like I that. Gotta... Yeah, it's witch weird. I'm looking, looking at the thing. Well, the witch, oh, okay. the witch weird language, Cyrunian. Yeah, Cyrunian. And there, there were, there were, they were did something like, like a role or something, so they could understand the, understand the basic idea of it, but the, the, the meaning was lost on them, so they sent for you, because you were hanging out doing something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm managing the, uh, the shopping center. So, so, like so they, they, they sent you back, and they, they, they eventually get you back over here after a couple days of, you know, spelunking. So it's like a couple day round trip to get you you back over here so you can see what this yes. is. And I'm going to read the thing again because I'm going to be nice like that. Okay. Yeah, Cyrun uh, is actually where I was born. I was right. born on Cyrun. Oh. Yeah, planetary language. Yeah. So faintly glowing moss and fungi reveal the surprisingly intact ruins of a large dome building occupying this great cavern. Several spires rise uh, behind a central rotunda. Which sports a jagged crack across the center. <sighs> a waterfall, a waterfall spills from the cave ceiling into the dome's hole. Okay, the stream emerges from the building's wide front doorway, splashing its way into a crevice on the floor. Okay, and wonderful witch weird person. It says, "Follow your star." Follow your star. Okay. What, what does that mean? Did did your kind does your kind have some kind of uh uh poetic What do you uh, mean, you people? Bent? I said <laughs> I know. your kind, not you people. Your kind. What do you mean mm. your kind? <laughs> you know that's a, a, a just a, a fascinating thing to ask me. Uh, it, it, it reminds me of a story I heard about. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do we have, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to remember because it's been a while since I read. Um, about the weird witch weirds. About the race of my character. Um, let's see. You're traveling merchants. I don't. Yeah, yeah, no, we're weird. Um, we're weird and witchy. That's why the hats. Um, we also are a uh, seeded Kasath and Akaton with intelligent life. Um, and That's nobody good. knows how long we live. Um, I don't see anything in the thing that would actually explain that i don't know is there something that that means to me mike as a as a witch weird and native of cyrun um, follow your star i wonder if it's a saying or if they have something similar to the north star actually can we just look around the cave find anything that looks like that? hold on Maybe yeah do we see any stars uh, not yet. Not where you're sitting, standing. All right, so you guys are walking in there. Yeah, I think we're gonna go into the dome. Okay, so you guys oh, yeah. stop moving around. If you're gonna, once you get in the dome, get the dome, get the dome. Lock the tokens. Okay. We stop moving around. Why not? I want you guys to have some kind of, you know, walking ability. Agency. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, once we get to a point where boom, shit's happening, then no, no shit's happening. I just don't tokens. want you guys like. Being crazy, like walking up the stairs and stuff. Well, what if I want to float up the stairs? Well, I don't want you to float up the stairs. Okay. But that's the next place. We're All right, going. So hold up. So standing there, uh, splashy water falls from a rough break in the domed roof above into a large crescent-shaped trough. 
which overflows into a stream that runs through the southern doorway, which you guys just walked through. Okay. I did not walk through it. Well, either. you floated through. Obscured, uh, both obscured and illuminated by a bioluminescent hanging moss, the ceiling is painted with a myriad of stars now faded. Etched lines connect many of the stars to form the various constellations. Four sets of stairs lead upward around the circular chamber. Hold one. Let's take pictures uh, of the stars and constellations. Give me a, a physical science check, anybody. I was going to say, how high up is the uh, is the dome? And would taking light up there help reveal the stars um, better? It's... it's Oh, yep, the ceiling and dome area, and this is a high of 25 feet, but only 15 feet at its outermost edges. Okay. Yeah. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, that? people, all of you except for Kyle, uh, uh, the, there we go. recognize that there are no known star patterns from this planet on this ceiling. However, comma, Fairbanks, being a you know a, a Cyrudian from the uh, which we are from Cyrun, mm -hmm. uh, these are constellations that you know very very well because they ah. because they've all children are no told these and these are like this is what the visible sky would look like to which weirds home planet eons ago. Yes, yes, this. This reminds me of my infancy. Did you have pointy hats back then, too? Uh, we have pointy hats because <laughs> we have pointy heads. Oh, do you, do you like cone heads? Exactly. Yeah. Do you guys like chew on condoms, too? They're from France. <laughs> uh, yes. It's bu yes. bubble gum. Yes to both. We are from France. We consume mass quantities of condoms. <laughs> Um, and we we drink beer six cans at a time. With your fingers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on, yeah, I gotta get the thing. Follow your star. So, so this place. Hmm, how curious. I don't remember um, ever being told of us settling a place like this. Interesting, huh? Um, and this whole dome structure itself is completely buried underground, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Does the sort of, like, form of the dome, like the architecture of the dome, remind me at all of, like, architecture of, you know, construction methods of, of witch weirds? I have no idea. Okay. How do I add p things to the to the the encounters to the thingy? They click the arrow at the the triangle at the bottom of the encounter. There's a triangle at the bottom of the downward chevron. Yes, chevron. You didn't like that word before. I like oh Jesus! Oh. Ah! That wasn't hidden. Stop um, doing that. I guess when I move over here, that... Really no, no, no. Well. No, yeah, I Mike, you've stopped. made a mistake. Freeze. That thing... <laughs> you've, you've taken the angry picture. You're supposed to take the picture... Use the picture of the one that's, like, friendly and wants to be our pet. Oh, he definitely wants to be your friend. Okay, why does <laughs> that have to happen after I thought, like, Fairbanks starts to wander closer, more inside to gaze up at the stars and figure out... I was coming into something. the crescent pond. Huh? Yeah, well, why Why something that feels like it was definitely made by my people would be on this uh, tree Just, switch, just switching me. music around here. I know we're all tired, huh? <laughs> okay, how do I stop? Okay. They went to slash oh, commands. You did slash quit. He left. Oh, I didn't. He's back. Oh, he disappeared for a minute. Welcome back, Fred. I don't know, man. All right, so roll initiative. <laughs> As this monstrous thing just lurches out of the water. Let me see if I can show you guys the uh, picture of it. Well, oh. 
Wow, two terrible. trees on initiative. initiative. That's insane. Oh, excellent initiative. It's very good for Brian. Why did it move? Excuse me. I, I wanted to see if I, I wanted to get to the picture, the, the thing on the bottom. Don't worry about that. I just don't know how to give you guys pictures. Get the thing out of the bottom? I don't know. Stop asking me a question. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Gotta make sure I ID off. There you go. This one lurches out of the water. There you go. Yeah. Ah, lovely gelatinous mouth. It looks like goo. Um, I know this is going out on a limb here, guys, but I think this creature might have the ooze subtype. What? No. I know. We should feed it the grenade, see what happens. Well, it was waiting on somebody to come near the water, and, you know, freaking this wonderful person named uh, Brian was willing to, you know. I floated nearer. Yeah, well, swallow whole. How does that, how does that work? Uh, yeah, you should oh. read that, because that, that works very, very well if know. things are close by. I know, that's what I'm trying to like read. Swallow whole. How does it work? You, you got to hit with an attack first, usually a bite, and then it happens. Okay. Oh, I, I target you prior, huh? Yeah, you would. Um, does it get a surprise round? Is yes, that what you're doing? Yes, it does. Okay. No uh, perception to avoid it. Well, uh, avoid the I would have loved round. to, uh, but Brian decided to go mosey on over towards the water. Uh, okay, so those. let's see here. Well, I mean, yeah. we were all looking around for stuff, so you're looking at that's the, true. You guys were looking true. at the ceiling. You guys weren't looking at the water at all. <laughs> no uh, that's that fair. <laughs> I didn't mention it, but I did move over to look at the crescent water, but you were still okay. talking, so all I didn't right. want to interrupt you. So how does this? I, I hit you. How does this swallow whole thing work? Well, you're gonna do damage. Well, I know that, but I want to know. How, okay. I want. I want to know how it works. First, ask ask uh, for consent. No consent given. All right. If the creature's attack roll hits KC plus four, the creature is automatically grappled. Okay. So are you? Um, uh, what's your? Yeah. My. You. You got a thirty. I'm. <laughs> I think that's probably uh, plus thirteen. It might be close. So we'll swallow whole. Let's see, my armor class is KAC 17, so you beat me by plus 13. But how, I mean, hand, how, right? how does this work? No, that means Like, did, like, did I swallow food. your ass or something? Uh, the creature does not, so I specify. The creature can swallow whole only targets that are at least one size case. Swallow, that's not going to be a problem. Okay, swallow um, whole. Uh, creature's next turn after grappling or paying target target has not escaped. Yeah, so. You can, I'm not going to take. The next attacks damage. Nice. You you swallow me next round if I don't get away. And then, yeah. then I can. But you are pinned this one. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm pinned. That's awesome. Yeah. Brian, you're pinned. <laughs> I'm pinned. Hold on. I want to apply the condition so I don't have to think about it. Okay. Thinking's bad. This one ugly looking ooze freaking hippopotamus looking thing. Apparently this this creature fills the role of apex predator within its ecosystem. Yeah, no kidding. How about a free <laughs> action life science? Uh it's aberration, so no. So life oh, science. aberration. What, what aberration would be mysticism, wouldn't it? So life science. You sure? I mean, you can look it up, but yeah. No, I, 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 I trust you, so you can roll. <laughs> yeah, I probably don't know much about this specific You one. know that its name is Robert Paulson. Robert Paulson. Hey, Mr. Paulson, could you no. uh, let go of my brain? You have identified it as a polygulp. But you, you don't know anything else about it besides it is a. Uh, it's a news. It's a huge creature. No, it's not a news. Oh, I don't know that it's, it's a not a news. Interesting. I think. I mean, okay. 
It has an intelligence. It's an aberrant ooze. It has a it has an intelligence score, so. Well, that's uh -huh. not useful. We don't have any. I mean, it might be useful through our witch weird. Um, um, yeah. What am I gonna do here? I don't think it's an ooze. No, it is not an ooze. Oh, that's wow. really that. That's very confusing. You're. You look like an ooze. How dare you defy our expectations? Ryan, so how do you, how do you, what you want to do there, stud? Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. Well, uh, please take your time because I hate to have to kill you in the first five minutes of me, in the, of me being late. Yeah, I'd hate <laughs> to have to make a new character and do something better than have an experimental vehicle. We kind of, we, we kind of like you, Brian. We all see Brian start to disappear into the <laughs> maw of this thing, and like Fairbanks is just gonna like turn to Katya and say, "Say, um, can you drive that truck?" <laughs> I am going to uh, release a frag grenade into its maw. Didn't you guys I like? Mean, uh, didn't you guys like uh, hold on to that other truck just in case? <laughs> No, no, I broke that down. No, broke oh, no. <laughs> no, anyone can drive my vehicle. It just becomes, they have a minus four piloting check. Well, if you die, then it, the vehicle falls apart. No. Yeah. That's not how that works. It does. That's it's a, a waste of money. It's a permanent vehicle. Oh, I just... Um, uh, anyway, I drop a, a grenade down its throat. Okay, so uh, so the, mechanically, that's just you targeting the square, right? Um, Yeah, I target the square... At its throat. I suppose I could miss, and it would be, uh, and it would be, you know, knocked away by the creature. So you will still be pinned, though, right? Yeah, but I get a sixteen to hit, so it misses the creature, but it hits the square. So. Okay. Okay, one. But it's st but you're still gonna be pinned. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm still pinned. That's not really the the question. However, he failed his save, so he gets full damage of two. Nice. I don't know if it hurts him enough that he'll let go of me. That's what I'm hoping for. It's the best I can do because I can't get away. Why can't you just unpin yourself? Because I'm not that strong. Oh. Because <laughs> I would have to make it would be a standard action to attempt to escape. Either by acrobatics or athletics, I think. Um, unfortunately, I just don't think I could escape from this big thing, and I think I'm just gonna have to kill it. So I picked the right person to pin. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Save me, save me. Somebody better save his ass. <laughs> My question, if it lost proficiency in its natural uh, attacks, can it still swallow whole? <laughs> Alright, I'm back. What did I miss? Brian's about to be eaten. I dropped a grenade down his throat. And it, it gave it a Being case... swallowed whole doesn't automatically kill you. No, it did. Look at Boba Fett. Uh, it just does a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to designate for a trick attack group and, and do so. Yeah, this creature doesn't even have to freaking like move. It's gonna be good. It's like I'm happy right where I am at. Hey, I figured out what I want to do with my move action. I guess I missed that. All right. Well, you hit it. I'm I'm very proud of you. And you did an, an amount of damage. And Katya, the thingy, the polygulp, goes rah. The gold Ryan, you uh, fuck. <laughs> We're just gonna walk up to it and okay, what's its it reach? Then. Let me see if that's gonna provoke. Um, Can it get an attack of opportunity while it's grappling? 
Yeah, it's not. Yes. Is, does it have any other attacks besides its mouth? No. If it opens its mouth to attack anything else, it is no longer grappling. Okay, so... It, and it, I'm no longer pinned. Okay, so I guess I'll just take it then. Okay. Because he wants to eat Brian. Brian's tasty. We will then... Do a... Uh, <laughs> Once it has gulped down at least one PC... It burps. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, wonderful! I'm fizzy. That's what it's actually. That's what the book says. Dead serious. Oops, I I did the tactics wrong. I was supposed to wait till two of you guys get close enough. That's oh. okay. I think I I uh, should have read the pinned condition before I took actions. I would not have been able to use my grenade. Well, it's oh. okay. It was only two damage. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I realize. See, we will just attack it and get minus two to AC if we hit. Okay, it's not too worried about it. it can gulp. It can gulp you too. I think. Actually, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, I think that. a huge creature can swallow up to two mediums. Oh dear. Yeah, it's got expanded gullet. So it, target. It, can it can grapple two creatures targets at okay. once. I don't know you target things. Full click. Yeah. Sorry, is it 17 hit? Shit, I don't know. Uh, KAC or EAC? KAC. Uh, no. Okay. Well, I tried. It was a good attempt, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's got expanded gullet, so we can attack two people. Well, normally it should be able to take in two mediums. Yeah, I so can. it can probably. I don't know if expanded gullet doubles that or just adds. One. Uh, doubles capacity per size so category. It can take four. So it yeah, yeah, it can get four medium creatures. Well, we had one or eight small creatures or two large creatures. Oh, but either it's uh it's uh, Fairbanks's turn, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, uh, can I also attempt a, a knowledge check on this creature? You certainly can. Mysticism? No, it's life science. Oh, it is life science. Then I won't. Um, well, I mean, I guess I can. Maybe I'll roll a nat 20. It's a, uh, it's a common pet uh, from your uh, you know, hometown. <laughs> it's untrained. It's only trained, I believe. Isn't it? Oh, crap. Well, never mind. Uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong... <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything for life science. Never mind. That didn't happen. It reminds you of I wasted a pet. that natural it, 18. It reminds you of a pet common to your home. Um, like... Spot? Spot, is that you? I don't think I've seen you in 15,000 years. Um, uh, however old I am. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, I just gotta see here. Uh, okay. It sure looks pretty hardy, though. Um, okay, uh, can, so swallow hole. I'm trying to figure out how this works. I'm still confused. All right, I looked at it. So right now it's got me pinned. Yes. Okay. Um, I can only think of uh, one thing to do um, in this particular instance that might prevent um, uh, that might prevent um, Brian from getting eaten. Um, so I'm going to cast, um, Slice Reality. That sounds impressive. I have no idea what it is. Uh, well, it rolled a 26 on its, um, save, yeah. fortitude save, so, um, it only takes half damage, and it doesn't get staggered. Oh. Um, so it takes two points of uh, force damage. 
They, um, they called you down here, Fairbanks, just to watch Brian get eaten. Yes. Uh, yeah, I exposed <laughs> targets uh, to. Uh, I exposed the target to churning entropy, which turns parts of their body sickly and black. Uh, they take two d six damage. Or I guess it's just damage. And if I focus it, however, on one target instead of um, uh, multiple um, targets, then if they had failed, he would be staggered for uh, four rounds. Well, that's nice. But um, he rolled a 26, so um, uh, it didn't work. But I thought maybe a staggered creature might have a harder time eating Brian. True. No, because he'd still just get his one action to. He well, he'd get his one action, but at least it might. Well, look, I, I don't have a lot of other options. <laughs> well, I agree. I yeah, the new attack roll with the same attack. Yeah, it automatically take. You know, yeah. It's... So what's going to happen on my turn is I'm going to take damage. Oh. Yes. He's going to make another attack. If he exceeds my KAC plus four, then you swallow. he swallows me, and I take swallow damage at the beginning of my turn. Yeah, which is next. It's gonna be fun, yeah. Orthus. But I'm no longer penned. It looks vaguely like a like an Akatonian uh, pet that is uh, common to the wastelands of the area around the South Pole. Well, I will move to there. You see, you're gonna get a good view of him getting ready to freaking suck down yeah. freaking. <laughs> and I Brian. will attempt to inject nanobots into it. I don't think I. Oh, I've, oops. I don't think that would have done it anyways. Well, what's the uh, eight? No, no, it wasn't enough. It was a good attempt, though. Uh, I tried to confuse it, Brian. Didn't work, though. No, I, I somehow didn't touch the giant thing. I think it's gonna be easier for me to fight from the inside. <laughs> I call to you all telepathically. Do you have a knife? I have a welder. Uh, I got like <laughs> welder or some shit. <laughs> I do. Next, I have an industrial yeah. welder in my Hit backpack. the next uh, actor button. Uh, yeah, that's all I can do. Okay, so now I get to do damage, right? Yeah, issue me, issue me some damage. Oh, man, that sucks. Nice. Now I get to do an attack roll. Yep. And if it, it succeeds your KC plus four, you're swallowed whole. That's a 26. That exceeds my KC by plus four. I am swallowed whole. Okay. Now so... I take swallow whole oh. damage. What's swallow oh, whole no. damage? It should be in the parentheses for the swallow whole ability. It doesn't tell whatever me. Whatever it says. It should tell you. It doesn't, though. You might have to open up the character sheet and look. I have the character sheet. Oh. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's acid. Nice. Yeah, that sucks. There you go, buddy. Yeah, I'm dead next round, guys. So, oh. Yeah, he's gonna be dead, dead. Oh, oh, oh! I get a burp. I get to burp now. You can burp. Um, that damage, that last damage you rolled, actually doesn't occur until my turn. So. Okay. Well, I. Oh uh, shit! What? I had to roll the wrong button. Uh, burp. I get to roll. I gotta, I gotta read this to you guys. Burp. Once a swallow, once a creature has swallowed a whole, Bolly Book can burp as a move action, sickening all creatures within one round. Give me a fortitude save, you wonderful. Within one. Within. Sickening all creatures within what? Fifty. I don't know. Right. I closed it. Uh, within ten feet. So that's ten feet. Okay, one. So that is Katya and Orthus. Yes. Yep. Bort saves. It's okay, you saved Orthus. Katya, you save too. It's gross. Like he just he just burped up some Brian juice. <laughs> I'm not juice yet. Not yet. All right. Uh, yeah, he's happy. Brian, you're now you take the damage, right? Yeah, I take the damage, but you've already rolled. Yeah, it, yeah, so. boy, I don't have to roll it again. I oh, am no longer. Uh, no, no you're longer not, you're not grappled no more. End anymore. Um, or swallowed. Additionally, you may want to look this up because its armor class on the inside is typically different than its outside. It certainly it is. So what I'm trying to do at this point, I take a, a you... move action. I reach into my Starfinder backpack, 
pop, the uh, industrial welder comes to my hand. I take it out and I begin trying to cut a hole through this creature. Okay. Um, actually, let me let me see if there's something better so for me to I, do here. I first. do believe you're still considered grappled, by the way. I don't know. When swallow, the target takes the list and swallows all damage automatically at the beginning of his turn. The target is considered dropped. One swallow, uh, grappled yeah. as long as considered, considered grappled, grappled as long as, as, as he swallows. Okay, yep. I'm grappled, not pinned, because yeah. pinned doesn't let me use my arms. Yeah. Uh, so now I can use my arms, but I take penalties because I'm grappled. Good call, good call. So any attack not slashing deals only half the damage. So plasma electricity only deals half the damage? Yes. That's weird. It has that to be doesn't make any it sense. It doesn't say physical, it just says any attack? It says, it says, I'm looking at the swallow whole feet thing, and it says, uh, one billion points. Though any attack that does, does, that does not deal slashing damage deals only half normal damage. Huh. You can attempt to climb out. That's not gonna happen. Um, half its normal damage, the target cuts away. So I can do one quarter of its total hit points, what? but I'm only gonna be doing half damage. All right, well, there was something else I wanted to look at before I use the arc welder anyway. Well, yeah. So a knife would actually probably uh, <laughs> actually be better. Yeah, I actually don't have a knife. Um, I don't have a knife. Everybody has a knife. Of, God, this is gonna suck. Instead of the welder, I grab a serum of healing and take that to try and stay alive. Good call. That's probably not going to help. Oh. I have 10 points of health remaining, and it looks like the acid is... How much acid did I take? It's I 1d6 took, uh, plus 10. 1d6 plus 10, oh so I'm God. gonna die next turn. No, you're gonna be down, and then you can go ahead and you spend no, resolve. 10, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be dying next turn. Yeah. Then you can spend a resolve to... Um... Okay, so next time... So you guys need to kill this thing, like, immediately if you want Brian to live. What's it with Brian? I always kill Brian. What the hell? I always kill I'm you, Phil. Up front. <laughs> I always end up killing you. The Kasatha? It's nothing personal, I promise. I know. Your ferret. Yeah, it didn't start. She didn't start as a Kasatha. No, no, she was a ferret. She started as a uh, Goss Club. Yeah. I, I did, in fact, choose to drink the liquid, though. So. You did. And then, and, I, and and then I realized how badly to... the poison freaking track was. <laughs> yeah. Walk near the pool. All right. That totally surprised the hell out of me, too. And as soon as Brian walked over, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Brian, Kyle's, Kyle's, Kyle's leaving you. Leaving. <laughs> He's like, bye. <laughs> oh, shit. 20. Nice. Oh. oh, but that wasn't for the damage. Oh, that's the trick. Oh, uh, cock. Oh, man. Oh, that was almost a but that's got to hit. That's gonna do some nice damage. Not enough, but yeah. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna try to do the same thing. Do now, the thing. It says I can swallow more than one PC at a time. How does that work? You attack someone again on its turn. You can. It doesn't mean that you can swallow multiple PCs at the same time. It means it can hold more than one PC in its belly. Yes. No. It says. Yeah. The, so now that now that you have someone in your belly, you can eat. It someone says. Else. It says the poly uh, polygulp oozes tried to get at least two PCs within its reach, so it can attempt to swallow them simultaneously. Oh and wow! Something outside of swallow hole that's specific to the creature. So no, look abilities. I'm looking at the abilities and it's not very. That's why it's called a polygulp because it could. It would. It would have gulps. to. Yeah, it would have to do uh, two bites. You know, multi attack. So minus forty each to attack two targets at the same time. Which, if it's got ra reach, it it's does. got two targets in range it as does. long as they stay there. What's my bonus to attack before I decide to do that? 
Okay, yeah. Okay. Like it mattered, you were gonna do it anyway. Probably. Katya, come on, kill this thing. I'm gonna try. Even though it's not even half dead yet. Targeted, attack it. Oh my god, I can't hit. No, that was a good idea. Not yet. Did you want no. to move? Uh, well, it's definitely going to bite your ass if you try to move. I can guard step one. That's true. No, yeah, guard step two. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oops, I'm moving. Oops. I would definitely try to be a little bit further away. I don't know what its reach is. Yeah, I don't know either. I'd, I'd be right here. This is the end of my reach. Okay. But it's, if, if, don't if worry about your reach. You can take a guarded step in and attack next turn. Oh, yeah. We all go here. Then. Yeah. Philip's not having a good day. Okay, no. I'll He's, go here then. That's you guarded step twice? No, I'm doing. I'm teaming on here instead. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You're right there. Okay. I was right here. Okay, I got you. So then I can't do anything else. So then... All right, Fairbanks. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a full action casting of magic missile. Oof. Um. My man. That's what I'm uh, talking about. Uh, it's the highest damage output I can do. Indeed. Um, so that should be three missiles. Are you, tar are you a Technomancer? Uh, am I not targeting him? Uh, you know you're targeting. I asked you if you're a Technomancer. Uh, I am not a Technomancer, no. Oh, what are you again? I'm a Witch Warper, but oh, okay. Witch Weirds have a special affinity for Magic Missile. I have the spell as a racial trait. I was just just cast i was curious um yeah no no no, no. I, I i i have uh it's uh, for me it's technically a force bolt i can cast magic missiles as a spell like ability once per day well this is the time um, it. yeah um anyway um and uh actually if um um if uh, somebody would just cast magic missile at me i can catch them nice cool. yeah yeah but nobody ever cast magic missile at PCs. Okay, I actually don't click the cast button, do I? I just hit damage three times. Yes. Well, make sure you're targeting it. Oh, oh okay. Are. Max damage. I am targeting it. Uh, max damage on the first missile. Second missile. Oof. Minimum damage, or not quite. No. Average. Average damage. Average damage. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay, that's actually really pretty good for um, three magic missiles. Yep, not bad that's, at all. That's 12 points of damage. That's my whole turn, because uh, that's a full action, full round action to do. Um, uh, it's, it's hurt. It turned yellow. Mm, uh, Orthus, if you have a way to just completely end the fight, um, killing it all the way, that, that would be really good for, for Brian, you know. Yeah. I, I suppose this is uh, something that I need to mention. It, it's flat-footed, uh, so it doesn't get attacks of opportunity or reactions right now. Okay. Um, because you trick-attacked it and then hit it and applied flat-footed? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you lose proficiency with a weapon or natural attack, do you lose any spe the specialization bonus as well? If it has it. I don't know. It doesn't work the same way for NPCs. Oh, okay. Their extra damage isn't based on specialization, it's based on CR. Okay. Yeah, because they build shit weird. Okay. In that case... Also, how do you lose proficiency in, like, digestion? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just talking, uh, incompetence, the spell, I can make them lose proficiency, or... Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure how that would attacks. work. Oh, it wouldn't help Ryan. No, Ryan's fucked. <laughs> it would be oh, very. It would, it would make it harder for it to eat me. Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. Yeah, I dig it. <laughs> hey, hit it. Hey. All right. Uh, it needs to do that. And I get that. It's confused. Nice. All right. Ooh. 
that's and good that's for you a guys. lot of damage. It's not gonna do much for me. Well, um, maybe it'll choose to vomit you up instead. Not well, like actually, I, I'm assuming it's confused. It has. You said it had an intelligence score, correct? It does. Okay, then it's confused. Okay, how does confusion work? Uh, percentile. No, I know how it works. It's just there an easy way to do this. Roll a d4. Um, I don't remember if you can put it as a condition or not. Uh, oh wait. There we go. I mean, it is in the condition thing. There, yeah, it's, now it's, it's applied. Confused. So it should, it should roll. It should. Uh, obvi honestly, uh, Kyle should apply flat-footed to it as well. But this is trick. I have no idea how to do it. You can drag it from the effects, uh, the effects thing in the toolbox. Um, additionally, you should be set up on your uh, on your trick attack thing. Uh, we actually specifically removed that because. Oh, was, okay. Yeah. I think uh, there should be there should be a spell for uh, for whatever that ability is. Uh, that adds the trick that adds the flat footed afterwards. It's not important right now. I mean, if Orthus is done, he can pass the turn and we'll see oh, what confused yeah, right. does to it. Okay, so I don't think it actually rolled anything. There might be a confused table. Um so there is a con confused condition table. If you open up the yeah. the uh, tables, yeah, you should roll see it. it. And then you can hit the okay, roll. attack the nearest creature thing, and it'll tell you. It says I attack nearest creature. Well, there you go. That's what you wanted to do anyway. Yep, basically. So it's guarded step forward. Basically attacking normal. <laughs> God damn. And then it's going to attack Katya. All right, did that 28 beat your uh, KAC? Plus four? Plus four, yeah, I believe it does. I believe that is so not I, a... Do I, pull it, do I pull you towards me then, because you're pinned? I think I... Technically, she reach move. In this Do what? Scenario. It's reach. He's just, he's just closer to her with his reach. I mean, it doesn't really change movement. Okay, so... It doesn't you, change placement. I have pinned you and done 16 damage to you. Ow. Is your armor class higher than 15? I assume it is. Uh, yes. Okay, so well, you just grapple. Okay, see, yes. Brian, I have to give you some damage now. It doesn't matter. I'm at 26. I, I'm at 26 damage. I'm at zero health. Okay, you are dying, but I want to roll it because it'll make it on the okay. on your sheet. Oh, I can add it. So. I got you. Okay. Oops, I'm All sorry. Right, so Kadia, add, subtract that. <laughs> subtract that from yours, Kadia. My bad. Oh dear. How much was that? 13. 13. Sorry about that. Two here, 16 here. All right, Brian. Just. You just drag that 13 onto me, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, I can do that? No, I think you can just drag it onto uh, either the combat tracker or my token. I don't... But my token's behind the other one, so. I don't know how. Uh, I just put 13 in my wound. Okay. So, yeah, except that doesn't apply the conditions. Damn it. That's fine. Just you're prone. You're my tummy. You're prone and dying. So, uh, do you want to spend a fatigue a research a re a thingy to? Yeah, that's. I need. Um, just roll the damage on me again. That'll work. Okay, let's clear targets. Target Brian. Roll the damage. Because it doesn't matter how much it does, I'm going to be dying. Dying, prone, and unconscious. Then, and then I will, then I can play, use the stabilize button and it'll just work better. Okay, you're unconscious and stable. Kyle. Till next turn, when I take more damage and, and I'm dying again. And then you'll be conscious and stable again. 
Okay, you did not trick attack this guy. He laughs at your incongruent incong thingamajigger. Look, <laughs> All right, Katia, you're pinned. Uh, I guess I try to escape the pin. If I even can. Yeah. I don't think I'm not gonna be able to escape the pin. You're not pinned. You're grappled. Oh, I'm grappled. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were pinned. No, I, I was. It wasn't my four, thirteen. Not thirteen. No what? You did not beat his KAC by thirteen. Okay, is grappled still bad though? Uh, you yeah. have the use of your arms. But I can it's still eat. Than I can still eat his yes. ass next time though, right? Right. If, if he, he doesn't escape, ass. or if she doesn't escape, it's ass. No. What? <laughs> Whose ass? I'm, I'm eating some <laughs> ass, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um. I can't do anything. I think. You you can uh, you're strong. Break free. <laughs> you can attempt to break free with uh, let me just... acrobatics, acrobatics or athletic. We'll I just got to remember which. Yeah. I got to find it. Uh, acrobatics is ten plus the grappler's KAC. Uh, I don't think you can do it with athletics. Yeah, it is under the acrobatics skill. Oh. You can make a grapple check to break free too, though, but that's probably worse. Uh, what's the grapple check? Oh, it's gonna be it's well, I guess it's KC plus eight, so that's better than KC plus ten. And it's strength based instead of yeah. tech based. I mean, what do I roll to do that? You can just go to your main tab. Yeah. And just roll a flat melee check. Okay. Hey, that's probably good. Oh, I don't think it is, but. I don't know. What's I'm, his AC plus eight? I missed my 17. Then again, he's flat footed now, right? Isn't he, though? Nope, not this turn. Oh, not this turn? Wait, what do you mean, not this turn? Because oh, Kyle, Kyle didn't. Uh... Kyle didn't hit what didn't I whiffed. Oh. Okay. And a 17 hit. No, it's hit. It's just I don't think it. Is it hit oh. by 8 is the question. Um, Did he beat keys. its uh, CMD? CMD. Where the hell is that? Yeah, if she beat the... It's it's just KAC plus 8. So whatever the KAC is at 8. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, I figured. And that was your standard action. So you could take something out with a move action. Uh, or grab a knife or something. I don't know. I don't have one of those. Yeah, me neither. I'm going to die. Well, you're, you're gonna you, join me. You're gonna join him in the stomach. Why do I have so no, much damage on it's me? It's confused. It might not swallow. Why do you damage I don't me know again? Why you have so much damage on you? I don't know who damaged you. It says damage 16 to Katia right after the damage that made you dying. I don't think I, I don't oh. think you untargeted me. Yeah, you didn't. Targets didn't clear. Oops. <laughs> And then after the first time when you said you did it by accident. I feel bad. It makes you feel better. Okay. Well, either way, it's my turn. So I guess I'll, I got to pull out a... What do you even have? Everything All right. right. Let me whip this Stare out. Healing, I guess, just in case. Okay. What is the most useful thing I could do? Um... All right. Run away. <laughs> uh, Phil, 
Well, remind me, would, uh, I mean, I, I assume that as a caster, it makes sense that Fairbanks would know for him or their self, but, um, if, um, if I were to cast an area of effect spell on, um, a creature that had swallowed another creature, would the creature that it had Not swallowed take the effect? Nope. I didn't think so, but I thought it was worth asking. Just to be safe. Okay. I'm shielded. Um, yeah, you're shielded by I, its I couldn't point mass. to anything in the rules that says that, but I would assume. Okay. Um... I guess technically Mike would be the arbiter on that. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to move to here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move to there. And, um, yeah, and, uh, I will angle um, so that it won't hit Katya. Um, a force blast. Uh, I believe it's a, a. Hold on, I might change that move. If I'm, no, no, it's a 30 foot cone. Um, so this is a 30 foot cone. And I'm hoping that maybe because it's a reflex save, it will take more damage. Um, yeah essentially there um yeah see i'm well outside that cone <laughs> oh there you go it's dragging it uh look at that it. look at that it still succeeds on the save so uh it yeah, still it takes close, though. um half damage isn't that great um five it's points of damage, force though. damage um yeah but i don't think it's gonna save your life no it's um, not no I've got five more uh, resolve. I've got You're five good. more resolve points, so you've got a few more turns. All right. Yeah. Um. What this? Uh, please kill that thing. I suspect it's going to eat more of us. Uh, if you don't mind. <laughs> Especially since uh, catches in its jaws. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, I'm going to use. Uh, no, I'm just going to shoot it. I need to keep my move action just in case. This is a well, creature. If you don't mind, get a little closer to it than I am. This creature is surprisingly effective. Swallow whole creatures really can be. I, I I don't see what's surprising at all about it, to be honest. So now, fun thing. Uh, I'm going to move back to there. Funny story? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Oh, uh, and as I had to, <laughs> with Confused, uh, because I was the last thing to attack it, it has to uh, come after me until it has died or I am out of sight. No, it doesn't. That is the part of the Confused That's effect. part of Confused. However, how long does the Confusion last? Four rounds. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah I think he's my level. You're going to go ahead and hit next? Uh, yes. Oh, that's smart. Well, it babbles incoherently, but it does uh, damage. You don't roll on the, you don't roll on the yeah. table if it's been attacked. Oh, yeah. I don't? No. Yeah, so part if of the confusion. It, yeah, part of the confusion, it attacks the last thing it attacked until it's out of sight or dead. If it doesn't have a target, then it will roll a on the table. Okay. So it probably drops Katya and charges after him. E. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, dear. Attack of opportunity, Fairbanks. Do you have a melee weapon? No. And Katya. I don't do uh, that. They both get attacks of opportunity. That's true. How do you spell? Oh, Though that would change its target. Yeah. No, I'm not going mm. anywhere near this thing. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that then. 
I haven't yeah, the slightest sure interest in it. doing what you suggest. Well, it missed. Woo! Nice. Brian, take some damage. No, I'm just dead again. Give me some damage. <laughs> I moved, too. You should approve my movement. Oops. Sorry, Orthus. Take, damage. take it damage back, Orthus. Orthus Summers. Take it back, Orthus. You're lucky. Nice. I'm dying again. I have Ryan dying oh, again. Oh, I'm stable again. My turn's over. Uh, I'm going to designate for a trick attack. This thing is horrible. Yeah. It is indeed. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not not a, a, a creature that uh, you guys should want to fight all the time. It is confused, so Kyle didn't have to worry about the trick, the attack of opportunity, but... That's oh, yeah, can do that one? I can we do that on the character creature that's focused on, correct? No, confused, it just can't take attack. Oh, really? Okay. I think you passed yeah. on to that. So you can hit it and then move away, gotcha. Oh. Gonna have to do better than I did. Uh, oh. No, it does do that, what I said, apparently. That's what I'm finding. Oh, yeah, you can't make attacks for opportunity against any creature or thing that you aren't already committed to attacking. But it's not yeah. committed to attacking you, so hit it and oh, run. Oh, yeah, I had atta I been attacking. Whoa. Move to up to there. Or run and shoot it. I mean, something. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move to. Or actually, I'm gonna move it here. Move. you attack it? Hopefully, the better roll that I'm getting so far. That is not a better result than we getting so far. Oh boy. Alright. God damn. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Alright. Um Fairbase. Fairbase. Okay, so it's confused, so I won't provoke an attack of opportunity, right? Correct. Um, that's nice. Unfortunately, all my highest damage spells have already been used. Nadia, can you hit next uh, target, please? Oh, next sorry. Target. Gotta find the right window here. Oh. Kill it. I'm going to... I'm going to try to kill it. Uh, let's see. I can get it from back here. What can I do? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to try to do. How about that? Do your mom. Uh, I mean, all right, but she's... 30,000 years old. Um, uh, I'm just going to keep on increasing that. All right. Uh, I'm going to move there. Well, you were 15,000, so. Oh, well. Uh, that means your mom had you when she was 15,000. I mean, that makes sense. Well, yes, but I mean, she's my mom, man. <laughs> Dude, really? Um... Can you approve my movement, Mike? No. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to run over there, and uh, I'm going to cast Hazard, because uh, the only other thing I could do is a Jolting Surge, but I'm not going to hit. Um, 
I think I'd have to roll. I, it's just too light, unlikely to hit. Um, I think it's a waste of a turn. Um, I think I have a better chance of doing damage with uh, trying to hope it rolls poorly on a reflex save. Uh, hey, max damage. Um, uh, let's call it... Um, oh, I clicked the damage already. Sorry. Uh, it will be max damage if it fails this. It does. It fails! Hey, there you go. So it takes three points of, we'll say, sonic damage. Sonic, huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. My apologies. There you go. Uh, um, would you I'd increase my dex. I step back into that spot there. Uh, sure. I will guard step back. I will then... Uh, two damage added. Oh god. And it only took half. Well, that's, no, the that's two, two oh, half, 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 half. having been halved. All you guys had to do is one more oh. damage to this thing. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, I'm doing my best. I'm not, apparently. Oh. I think I did the most. I never really got a chance. <laughs> so I was gonna... Guarded Slurmf up here and uh, attack Orthus. Oh, it's gonna miss again. No. Damn. It did not beat me by four. I'm not grappled. No, but it did do some nice damage to you. Brian, you're dying what? again. Yeah, just make sure you target the right target. I don't even know where you are. Okay. You can target me on the combat track. Yeah, I like that. Stop moving, you rotten thing. Kyle, can you do one damage to him? Hopefully. Oh no! Oh, the curse of the trick attack when you have to roll twice. Katya, kill it. I'll try. I'm such a resigned. I'll try. Oh hey, that's a higher number. Hey, hey. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> Apply the damage then. Nice damage. All right, it's dead. Damn thing. <laughs> if only that was the first number I rolled. Most of my All right. So, um, yeah, you guys should cut me out of this thing. That's fair. <laughs> I will let people that have a knife do that. Does anyone have any magical okay. healing? Uh, I have a a serum of healing. Uh, that that would at least get me conscious, I guess. I am out of serums of healing, so. Uh, uh I think I have some. You guys want to take I ten minutes? <laughs> how, how do I use it? I have two serum. I have two Mark One serums of healing. Um, Do you have it listed in your actions? 
Uh, I have it in my spells. Well, that works. Just target me and then click the plus sign or whatever. If you have the display turned to actions, you'll see a little plus sign. That's healing. How do you get it to be listed in your actions? Uh, either actions or spell. Actions you have to make it. Spells you can drag it from the spells. Oh, okay. Perfect. Did that Thank work? You. That okay. worked. I have three hit points now. Great. Um, give me a second. I'll... I'll uh, I, I don't know if you should give me another one, but does anyone know medicine? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, yes. I also know medicine. I'm at plus 10. What are you guys at? Uh, plus 12. Plus 10. Wow. Plus 5. And let me look at this normal state word real quick. Plus 13 with my dermal stapler. I have a med patch. Hmm. I could stay with people I thought it was never think it was me else. That's that's good for non skilled people. Yeah. Ugh, stupid tariffs I'm freaking hey. very nicely done, Kyle. It's gonna allow me to gain your intelligence bonus. What is your intelligence bonus? Uh three. So I'm going to get back seven hit points from that. That's awesome. Wait, what do you normally gain? Your hit dice plus intelligence, their intelligence bonus or something like that? Yep, hit dice, and then if they uh, exceed the DC by five or more, you gain their uh, intelligence uh, modifier. Interesting. But only once per day, um, unless you have a yeah. med day or other abilities. So I would definitely like a 10-minute rest. Oh, yeah. That's fair. I'm fine with that. I would like one, too. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably a really good idea. Yeah, you guys uh, might want to take that 10 minute break. <laughs> uh, but I am all out of serums of healing. He's all uh, out of two. serums. They're so lost without you. <laughs> What? what are you doing there, Fairbanks? I'm just trying to set up the action, and I clicked on it accidentally. Okay. Did you drag Serum of Healing into your Actions tab to create it? Can I do that? You can, yeah, and that way it'll have the uh, description stuff in the block. Ah, uh, I will do that. I mean, I have not done that in the case of mine, but you can. It won't have anything set up. It'll just have an action button, but... Well, that's oh, not. I see. I have to expand deal. that. Okay. Why is this not? All right. Cool. Okay, I'm trying to drag. Uh, okay, let me drag it from here. That's what I need. So to you've got to drag. You've got to drag the little dragon icon. Yeah, I know. Onto I got to uh, a action tab into. I was well. Section. I was. I was trying to do that, but it it wasn't letting me drag it from the description part. Where I had it pulled up, so I have to pull it up from the list of the items separately. Is a sec, sec. I think I got it. Uh, I will. I promise. I will ask if I if I don't get it to work again. No. Let's see. No, that is not happening. Okay, where do I drag so, it to? So, if you have it in your inventory, I do. You can open up the description block of it. I did that. And you have that little red and white dragon thing over on the yeah, left. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you drag that into... So on your actions tab, mm -hmm. at the top it's got this bo blue circled box that says weapons. Yes. Do you have any other blue circled boxes? No. You will have to make one by clicking on the star at the bottom. Add ability class. Yep. Items. Yeah, and then what I do is I got one for equipment, I've got one for grenades, I've got one for vehicle actions, you know, whatever you want. Ah, uh, um, I gotcha. And then 
inside the that you need to tell it how many sections. Normally, I just use one section. Gotcha. The rest of that stuff is inconsequential, unless it's like an ability that has uh, a DC modifier or something like my grenades and stuff. Okay. Once you got that, then you get another line that has a little plus sign at the end. Yeah. Don't click the plus sign, but go ahead and give it a name. Mine has magic items written in it. Okay. And then on that magic items line, you can drag the item and it will provide an action. Ah, uh, that's where I need to do it. Got and then it. you can I modify the actions by opening up the radio menu for that thing and adding or deleting. So I can just change that to 1d8 healing. Yeah, what I did is I removed the action that they had and just added a healing thing so that it had just the healing action there. Because there's no there's no D20 to roll. There's no two hit or anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha. Uh... And then you'll also notice it added the dragon at the end, so now you can open that up and see the item. Yes, I do see that. You could do the same thing with any class abilities that you want to put in the actions tab. Um, and so that it'll have all the information for the item. All right, so uh, you guys, uh... so I'm gonna go over here and look at the uh, the water and stuff over here. See if we missed anything. Uh, somebody that knows more about these things, life science, than me, uh, should take a look at the body. See if there's anything we can scavenge. Nope. And then we can look at the. Uh, stars and such again. Real quick, before we go any further, though, um, just, uh, do you want another uh, serum of healing, Brian? No, I, I'm, I should be fine. I will stay near the back. Alrighty. Next monster attacks from the back. God damn it. There <laughs> we go. Um, in that case, no, Fairbanks wants to move to kind of the middle and just look up and um, looking around, um, is there anything that jumps out to me as like um oh uh, this reminds me of a story of my people that i'd forgotten or something anything coming to me nope no okay i this was built Clearly by someone who either was very familiar with Cyrun or, like me, was a native. But I do not know anything about it, unfortunately, aside from its design origins. And apparently they um, kept um, a, 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 a monstrously sized uh, traditional Cyrunian pet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, Usually they're very small. You could hold it in your hand. I, I don't know the, how they got it so big. The constellation stuff is that on the ceiling? Yep. Is there anything more useful out of it besides it's based on where he's from? It just gives us an idea how who created this place. Uh, that's as much as you know right now. Ooh. All right. Uh, so if follow the stars. Do any of the constellations look like they're pointing in a direction? Well, if you look there, um, we call um, that uh, constellation the uh, Universal Graffiti. You see, there's the two circles, and there on either side of uh, the longer cylindrical <laughs> shape. I see where you were going with that. So maybe the direction that it's pointing, we should just follow. Doesn't it always point up, though? Ah, <laughs> uh, really, it depends on the mood. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Kyle, <laughs> is there anything in the in the uh, water collection area over there? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I guess we need to check these stairs. Are there any, I mean, do the stairs lead up to like an open balcony or like a closed area? 
Uh, it looks like it's an open area, from what you can okay. tell. I mean, it's closed on here, but... I'll take a gander. I'm quite curious about this place. Okay, up there. Do you guys see the L3? No. No. There's no There's no letters and stuff. Okay. So... Are those flowers? Yes. Beautiful. Up here? You guys are up here and where Fairbanks is? Yeah. Uh, you guys, this curving chamber is damp with several puddles fed by dripping water from the stone ceiling. Unusual mosses and other similar plants grow on just about every surface, including a set of stone shelves at the eastern end of the room. Next to one of those shelves <laughs> stands a squat stone cube with a circular metal plate embedded in its top. At the northern edge of this room sits a curved marble table with hooks along its side. The stairs leading down provide the only exit. Give me a mysticism check. Absolutely. Garbage. So many threes. So much garbage. No one knows what. Lots of garbage. The cube looks pretty. However, you have no idea what it's for. Uh, any any sense giving you a life science check for the mosses? And yes, the please do. Ah, oh, gods, dang it! Good yeah, lord, I, I'm melting these freaking dice. I don't know. You don't have we, a melter we, turned on, but we're still in shock from the uh, fight we just had. Orthus, yeah. scrutinizing the moss. The plants of moss as an offshoot of pistoli, which is a cathothan moss once used to make traditional teas. This story plant is featured in many works of cathothan art, but has become nearly extinct due to its preference for dark, dank places and cathos's increasingly desertification. Uh... Perhaps this place was built by cathothan seeded by the witch weirds. Here, here's what I think. I think this place is, uh, we could probably take some of this with us and sell it, even if it's just for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I quite like that idea. Give me a it is in keeping with the traditions of my people. Give me a survival or life science check. Do you want it just from them or Kyle? Uh, you're able to gather a single sample of pistoli to bring with you. Uh, perception check, please, from everybody. So, Kyle and Brian, you notice a faint outline of a door on in the stone wall between the stove and the uh, table right there. Yeah, right there. Uh, I noticed that as soon as I walked up here. Uh, it, is, it moves, it opens easily, revealing a recess barely fit, big enough to fit a medium creature. Give me an engineering check, Brian and Kyle. Brian and Kyle. Whatever. You know, we inspect the, the niche. You realize it's a simple elevator, much like a dumbwaiter that leads downward. Uh, That's awesome, but perhaps we should check these other stairs first. Yeah, I don't think that we want to send someone to be eaten. Okay. As, uh, as for the pistoli sample, you could sell it for three thousand credits at your. At, you know, you could sell for three thousand credits, and if you establish a node on area G. A research node on Area G, it receives additional two units, resource units per charter turn from having uh, regular harvesting of the moss after two charter turns. Cool. We, we have to remember to do that. Uh, Where's G? I don't know. Let me take a look. G. Uh, I think we labeled it as E. No, G. You guys traveled from E. I need to put G on the map because it's for where you guys ended up. It's a right. Okay, to... That's where we are currently. Yeah. Above you is G. Let me go ahead and put that on the map. 
Because this was like a, a way to get to the G. Yeah. Right next to H. And what was the benefit of establishing it there? Two extra resource points from it, the node. Um, I don't remember because. You just it. read it. I know, but I had to scroll a different part of the mat, part of the book. <laughs> uh, you, you establish a resource node there. You receive two additional resource units per charter turn from regular harvesting the moss after two charter turns. Uh, very cool. I mean, it is because it goes from. A 1d4 to a 1d4 plus 2 after, after two turns. Indeed. Yeah. Okay, I have noted that in Sanctuary Details under Ongoing Events. It's not really an event, but it'll, it's a good place for us to track. Uh, I don't see it. Don't see what? His note. I don't see it. I see it, so. Is it where? <laughs> That's okay. all that matters. All right, so we're going to check out the other staircases before we go to this door, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because only one person can go down there at a time. Oh, for some reason, it's no longer shared. The... Somehow the public button got, un got clicked. I don't know. You should be able to see there Sanctuary now. Yeah, okay, I can see it. Ah, there it is. I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right, going up oh, there. Neat. Shh, shh, shh. Go back, Fairbanks. Okay. Fairbanks! Oh. This yes. Is a, this is a long, curving hallway featuring several closed stone doors. Ah. I think I'm on the other side of that door. Come, come over here, Fairbanks, in case something attacks. Okay. I'm just waiting to see Fairbanks. Okay. Ooh. Right there. That's it's the same thing. Oh, oh I no. see. Something something's here. I don't know what it is, but Oh, never mind. This so seems different than what you were thinking. It is different. Do we see a backside to that area? What's what area? The where that stone door was on the other side. No, it it only goes down. All right, so we're up higher. Yes. Oh, and this okay. this hallway is blocked off from the central chamber, right? Uh, yes, it appears to have like right. curving walls and stuff. Nice. So we've got five doors here to choose from. What do you mm. say we take the center one first? What what is this uh, thing it's we're fair. standing next to in the center here that we can't see through? That I think that's the dumb waiter. That's the dumb waiter, yeah. They just didn't want to show it to give away a secret door, though it kind of gives itself away anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because it, it's very obvious something's there at this point. Um, these doors—they look like they could just be pushed open. Uh, yes. They're stone, Fairbanks. I'm sure they're incredibly heavy. Well, uh, they must be functional. Maybe for something with a much more strength than I. Kyle? Uh, oh. sarcophagus, maybe? Stone bed? Sort of looks like a workout bench. Okay, oh, freeze. Now that I are these yeah. people working out? Or are they freeze. Fairbanks? Sure. 
Uh, oh, you made curious. classical blunder, Fairbanks. Yes, I walked in first. You saw what happened to me the last time. Yeah. Well, Lungs are installed across the ceiling of this large room. A mosaic of letter co letters cover the floor. The back wall shows a faded mural of four armed monks training together in an open field under a bright sun. Give me a culture check. Culture? All right. Fairbanks. I could make that as well if I can move closer. You told us to stop moving. Well, you can move now. I just want to read. Oh, okay. Gotcha. See, it's fine. Ooh, 30. So Kyle and Brian, you see a motto on the floor that reads in Kathos, Kasatha. Do you guys speak Kathatha? Uh, I speak a lot of things. Hold on. Uh, I do, I think. Kathan. Who does? I yes, think I, speak I do. Kasatha, Kas Kasatha, whatever. Okay, so if you read Kathatha, it says, Grounded body, soaring soul. And you recognize the phrase as a traditional saying in present-day Kathathan calisthenic routines. It's a caution to scholars to not forget their body's needs while seeking higher knowledge. Uh, additionally, Kyle, you know that uh, the saying originally comes from a pre-gap epic of Tilgarith den Raf Zedrim, a hero and sage of the cycle who overcame their inner demons on a journey of self-discovery. From what has been passed down in the story, this uh, the P use also identify that this is an idealized version of Tilgareth as the feature figure overseeing the exercises in this mural. There are also witch weirds present in the background. While they are mentioned in the original epic, the apprentices who probably painted this added them probably as deference to their witch weird mentors. Ah, yes. So these were witch weird Kasathans. <laughs> we sort of made them, you know, that sort of thing. It's all for All right. Today. Well, uh, let's take a look around. Um, I mean, does the story yeah. tell of specific exercises that the guy did or anything? Um, yeah, they require forearms, though. <laughs> Two people do this at the same time. Well, I mean, um, I mean, there's technically an encounter in here, but I think it's a boring one, so I'm not doing it. So, what did we encounter and easily overcome? Uh, tanglers. Ooh, tangly vines. Yeah, pretty much. Fun. Did we burn them with fire? No, but they uh, fought to the death. What valiant vines they were. Uh, are there any, um, does it look like there'd be any benefit to a four-armed person doing the exercises? Yes. Great. Um, uh, I'm going to do it. Because you're a four-armed I try it fellow. out. Yes. I, I am four-armed, after all. Well, it, it comes naturally to you, although your, your bulbous belly gets in the way sometimes. Well, I've been, <laughs> I, I've been doing a lot of administrative work. Uh, what happens when I do the forearm exercise? You feel good? You get a little I've... tired. Yeah. Okay, cool. You work make a fortitude a bit. save to avoid fatigue? Yeah. Shush. You, you, <laughs> no. you gain the poison condition? No, okay. Like, you're supposed to say, like, you gain 1d8 strength and dex <laughs> or something <laughs> permanently. <laughs> Um, how much working out would I have to get here to get my decks higher so that I can actually make touch attacks? What, touch your belly? Uh, no. no. All right, fine. All right, Sandy. This seems like some kind of temple. Maybe perhaps we should check these other rooms. Yeah, Indeed. But west or east? Yeah, we're heading to the left. Let's go left. To the left, to the well, left. right when we come out of the room, but All left way on my to the feet. left. I can no longer target the door because of somebody's arrow. Stupid. I removed my arrow. Stupid, stupid, stupid arrow. arrows. Bruh! Friggin' Kyle, I'm gonna save you some time. 
uh, that door leads up to a to op each opens uh, to a tight spiral staircase leads six feet up to a small dormitory with a pair of stone bunks and not much else. Okay. Um, poems and contemplations are carved in each of the room's walls in Cyruthian and Kasatha, along with signatures of the authors, authors who lived in them. Give me a culture check and you can gain, you can glean the, uh, you know, freaking hold the personalities of the various monks. Okay. All culture, right. you say. Uh, recordings of these walls would be of great interest to Kathathan and Witchweird scholars, whether here on New Harmony or back in the Pact Worlds. Pictures, mm. everything, like usual. So that's what, oh that's wait, what, I remember this one. This one's really boring. It's all, uh, they it's all four it of these try... stores would be the be the. These are all like freaking just dormitories. All the remaining doors, you mean? Yeah. Only one you haven't gone through is the dumb waiter, which is you. Okay. Because you're a dumb waiter. Well. Oh, uh, more bo boring poetry. Yes, this was the sort of stuff that would be read to me when I was when I was uh, a, a wee babe. Baby, baby, baby. Ooh. All right. <laughs> it's an epic band from from uh, your homeworld named Justin Bieber. <laughs> I thought he was Akatonia. No, no, um, he's not red. Only in the face. Where the hell are you going, Kyle? Checking out the corners I didn't check out before. Damn it, Kyle. Where the hell are you going? All right, he's so... I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't take much time for me. I move almost twice as fast as everyone else. It's true. So... All right, so to operate the job, <sighs> Okay, the dumb waiter. Uh, uh, I guess you can go one I'll person go at a time. Only one person can descend at a time. And as soon as you pull a lever, it goes down. It takes one round to go to the go to the place it's going, and then it takes a full round to go back up the top. I have the uh, the most armor. Shall we send someone down to take a peek and then come back up and report before we send anyone else down? It's probably a good idea. Seems fine That's to me. Uh, excellent idea on your part, Kyle. So you're going first, Kyle? Yeah, I, I got the best armor, so I'll go first. Mm -hmm. At least if the party sheet's correct. My armor's crap. I won't I'm argue not with you. Terrible, but twenty-one twenty. Hold on. Brian is terrible compared to that, though. Okay, then yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I think Brian should go down. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating once today. I'm good. Just cut the dead weight. <laughs> Brian's almost dead anyway. <laughs> yeah. He's... Well, I mean, if it broke, I could go up and down without any trouble. But ah, uh, that's seen. How that's. There you go. All right, Kyle, I'm really you. curious about these concrete blocks, though. It's, it's magically looking well, well, cubes. You, 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 they, just, they just look happy to you. Yeah, they look neat now. All right, Kyle, this. so you go down. I fly into a pot. I don't think it's gonna. I don't. Why won't it let me move you? What are you trying to do? Move him. Is it on this same map or is it on a different map? On the same map, just on a different section of the map. I'm smacking Hold down the walls. shift. Hold down shift while you move him. It'll it'll ignore all walls. Haha, <laughs> Cool. You can use that for your NPCs too. All right, Kyle. You see where you're at? Uh, I see black. Go to the left. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't, you don't freaking have. I have dark vision and I have a light and I have low light vision. Okay, I can. Oh, no. I, I try. I saw... It's because there's a door there. Do you want to open the door? Yes. All right. You open the door and this 
is what you see. Kyle, do you know how to put the light on yourself so that it's active? Uh, I think I already have it on myself. It's not currently think so. active. Okay, let me pull up the effect thing again. So if you look at the combat track, you can see I've got a light turned on, 30 lantern. There you go. Kyle, looking in this room, a sun-shaped pattern of tiles form a mosaic on the floor of this dusty circular chamber. A single computer console stands in the center of this room. Four niches spaced around the walls close to the ceiling hold what appears to be dormant robots. Lines uh, of flowing script are written on the walls at about two to four feet from the floor. Some look like elegant calligraphy, while others appear shaky and rushed. A large star map occupies one but otherwise bare section of this wall. Uh, take a recording, a quick like recording of the room, and then just go up. Like you just want to take a pictures of what you can see from right there? Yes, I'm not stepping out. Not when I see four things out there. They appear to be deactivated. That's fine. Appearances can be deceiving. Ah, smack the wall again. <laughs> okay, well, uh, when I get up, uh, I'm going to provide the uh, information I've gotten. The general shape of the room and then share the pictures with the others can i make out any details from here uh, as far as the robots from the pictures robots appear to roll me a thing for it they appear to be deactivating uh what's the thing they appear to be observer class security robots Ooh, those look like security robots. They could be dangerous if you don't know the appropriate passwords to make them respect you. I wonder uh, if it has anything to do with following a star. Who speaks Kathos Kathothan? I do. Uh, I do. Okay, then the, some of the writing on the wall appears to be poems commemorating the deceased. Uh, there's three line obituary poems known as Obaya, Obina, Ob, who gives a shit? Uh, the poems have fallen out of use, were, but were celebrations of life that speak of a dead person's personality, passions, or endearing traits. Uh, there, there, there was three of them, elegantly written, and according to your pictures, the death rates over a range over a 30 year period. The others occur within the same month. And the last one that the, the the last one that's all jacked up looking uh, says, "I write this for myself. Who will sing my songs now? Notes fade, but memory endures." Let's compare it to the stuff we found in the dorms. Yep, it's probably them. Uh, okay. I don't know a lot about hmm. them, but I think maybe... Well, there's that wonderful computer in the middle of the room. Middle of the room downstairs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a big old computer terminal there. Well, I mean, maybe if we can get to that without the robots attacking us too heavily. So I'll probably go back down, but we need to figure out exactly who's coming down... Oh, I'll come. I, I'd like to see more of this. It's really quite curious. Who's going? It may be more useful with regards to the robots. Oh, yes, absolutely. I fully hey, agree. Mike. Yes, Mike. I had, here. A, I had a static arc pistol yes, sir. installed on Eco 3. Would it make. Would you have any issue if I said I would have brought that with me instead of leaving it on the vehicle? Negative. All right, so I do have that with me now. So who's going down first? I'll, I'll still go down first. Okay. I still have the best armor class and stuff, so. 
Uh, Brian's going to go down second. You sure about that? Yep. I will try to stealth my way right <coughs> to the door so I can go back up by itself. I roll a stealth. Okay, move. Okay, and it goes back up. Somebody step in. Stop moving. All right, Brian. I will also attempt to silently exit the dumb waiter. I guess I should have put that in the tower for you, but it doesn't matter. But move, and as you as you exit, you can see that they are starting to power on. Oh goodness gracious, Kyle! They're powering on. Uh, I think I should get to the computer and see if I can control them from there. Who's next? All right, go ahead. Uh, oh. I will try and keep you covered. Uh, do you tell us that they're powering on? I don't know what our range is. I say I, I I told it cut. I told Kyle through our comm unit. Well, I guess I told him telepathically. So fair uh, enough. Uh, then Fairbanks will go. All right. I expect you guys to come down anyway. But yeah. All right. So we're gonna enter. Be entering probably combat. Probably unless Fairbanks can like, you know, be smart. Well, I mean, I have an idea or two about right, what as the soon command as, word thing as, is. But. <laughs> As soon as they, as as Fairbanks makes his way down, uh, they start speaking in robotic-sounding Cyrunian, demanding to know your intentions. Uh, Fairbanks will um, repeat. Um, uh, 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 were any of the poems about like peace or anything? Mm, sure. Why don't you just okay. tell him you intend to follow your star? Uh, yeah, sure. It's like, oh, we're following our star. Give me a, we're going to follow our star here. That's that's why we're here. Huh? Diplomacy. Bluff you got it. Diplomacy, you or say? diplomacy. What? Bluff culture or diplomacy. Oh, bluff culture or diplomacy. Uh, bluff. Oh, for God's sake. Can you re-roll that somehow? No. No? I don't think so. No, no, you would have had a special ability, and you'd know about it. Oops. Like my, oh, the... my envoy the other uh, game. Okay. All right. Uh, the robots start shouting at you. The memories must be kept safe. The map honors our journey. Okay, and now we get to combat. Roll and. Oh, for God's sake. Couldn't you just let me say it again? Before the before we attack them, you could try another. You could try a diplomacy and try and talk them down. Yeah. Turn combat music on now. All right. So everybody, roll initiative now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Kyle. Can I roll a culture check? Yeah, sure. What are you trying to say to him? In Cyrunian. You could say it in. Don't you speak Kasatha? I do. I speak Kasatha. Say it in Kasatha. I mean, it's worth a shot. Well, in Kasatha, I will try to explain uh, we're not trying to uh, damage their memories or anything such as that. Well, they uh, they we respond are. to you in. And, uh, uh, to your witch weird friend, he says. You translated, uh, the memories must be kept safe. And that's... Uh, they keep saying the memories must be kept safe. Uh, well, uh, I guess we say we're going to keep the memories safe. That doesn't matter. 
Bro, you, it's your right. <laughs> we're not. We're in middle of combat. And don't, don't hurt them. Just so you know, the programmer and the programming is degraded over the eons, and no answers are going to mollify them. Oh. Okay. Uh. Never mind. Hurt do them. I understand. <laughs> Never mind. Hurt them. Do I understand that? Yeah, you understand that they look old as shit, and they're pointing guns at you. I would have also told you all that uh, electricity is probably better to damage them with, being that they are, appear to be robots. Yeah, yeah we fought some robots. I don't have no electricity. I got I got a gun or sonic gun. Or knife. Or club. Or knife. So uh, I will trick attack uh, this guy. Ooh. Nope. Well, at least you created hey! it. Hey! Uh, why didn't it roll the Because it's, uh... Oh, it is. Why isn't it what? Because you missed the trick attack. Or you oh, can deafens, I guess. Okay. What's the question? I don't know. Oh, what was the critical effect? Deafen. And it has that on no, there. No, I should, yeah, it should have rolled the damage twice. Oh, why didn't it quit? Did it really quit him? That's what you saying. Why didn't it? I don't know. I'm just gonna roll again. Has construct. Uh, this is vulnerable to critical attacks, though. Just roll another. another uh... Just roll the damage again. Cool. So we did three more damage to it. All right, this guy's turn. He's going to eliminate. Let's which one? Which one's closer? Do you have a full image of these in their uh, other tab, perhaps? Maybe. Let me take a look. I always like to see the different ways they draw the security, observer security class robots. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool looking. Yeah. Okay, he's going to go after Kyle, because uh, Kyle is shot at first. Like, yeah, yeah, I do. Much like on solo. Uh, pew, 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 pew. This guy is going to go. Who is it? Okay, he's closest to Brian, so we're going to target Brian. What are they firing upon us? They are firing upon you. Yep. Laser electricity. Well, right now, integrated looks like a pulse caster. Oh, okay. This one's closer to Kyle, so they'll target. Oops. Nope. All right. And it hits Kyle. And Fairbanks. All right. Uh, all right. Well, uh, let's make sure see. you get off the thing so that our party there you go. Get down. Yeah. Well, I am. Uh. Okay. Um. I will duck behind. Can I get a little bit of cover from the desk? Yes, I'll give you partial cover there. Okay. Um. I'll duck behind the desk here and use. Hazard um, to target um, Sorry um, I, was, I had to talk to my wife uh, Alright, here we go Uh 
Uh, they both fail. Yay. Uh, this will be uh, 1d3 electricity damage. One. Great. Better than nothing. One point of electricity damage. Katia, you can move into the dumbwaiter and then it'll take one turn for you to go down. Okay. Uh, does Orthus want to go first, though, or does it matter? I mean, everything matters, obviously, now. I mean, it's your turn, not Orthus' turn. So, I mean, if you yeah, want to wait, if you want to wait for him, yeah, but it's still gonna take him one. It's still gonna take somebody one turn to get downstairs. Well, it's just a matter of who need, who wants to be down there first. I'll go down first, fine. Okay, I'll move you over. Oh, I can go here. Okay. All right, Brian. Brian will. Uh, Duck in close to uh, to Fairbanks, next to the computer terminal, getting some cover from some of the creatures. And then he will fire upon the one that fired upon him. Oh, thank goodness. Hey. Oh, max damage. That's awesome. Revenge. D did it look oh, like yeah. it took more damage? Uh, because of the electricity? I don't know how it does that. It doesn't tell me. I mean, did it take six points or did it take nine? Well, it said it takes six. Right. That's what I'm seeing, too. Should it have taken nine? Are it they vulnerable? vulnerable to electricity. But it didn't actually do it. So it's what, 50% more? Yeah. So it should be another three. All right. Okay. Orthus, your turn. Do I have to wait around for the dumbwaiter to come You're back? You're going to have to wait until he gets, uh, until uh, Kadia gets out of the way. <sighs> Sorry. Uh... Well, we already knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're stuck up there until the next turn. Yeah. Or the end. Of the you next could time. cast some protective magic. Yeah, you could like. Right. I would assume I have some. Well, yes. Um, Mirror image would be good. Do I think I? Based on how fast, when I get to the bottom, be able to look out the dumb waiter by next turn. Uh, yeah. Does it take an entire turn to go down it, or it takes just an entire on? turn to go down? Oh. Uh, I will ready in action to shoot something if something if an enemy comes by me up here. Okay, that's a wonderful, wonderful choice. All right. This one is sees Brian and is going to attack Brian. Brian has cover, partial cover. So he's just gonna move over there. That works. And then not ignore your cover, but miss. Thank goodness. Physical attack. I huh? just tried to slam me. Yep. Kyle. Uh, second verse, same as the first. And another freaking miss on the trick attack. What a crit. Better one to get a 20 on, though. That's two in a row, man. Yeah, nice. That time it worked. Yeah, yep. I don't know why, but okay. Sometimes, I guess, shit just breaks. Yeah. This one is going to continue to attack freaking Kyle. And miss. This one is going to move and 
slam Brian. Oh no! Hey! Watch out, they hit! This one is going to continue to attack. That, that uh, one's gonna die. Yeah. It's dead. Okay. Bay Banks! Alright. Um, I can do the same thing as last time. Um, except targeting these two instead. Um, so I'm going to do that and cast Hazard again. I hazard a guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean... Although I be, we have no idea at this point their AC. The only hits that we've made have been like nat 20s or like a natural 18, right? Huh? Because my to hit is garbage is the problem. Do your if, hazard. That's what I'm thinking too. Your yeah. hazard's good. If they fail, they're going to take 150% of your electricity damage. It's a good thing. Yeah, but it's only 1d3. Uh, they do both fail, so that's nice. So here's 1d3 electricity damage. Hey, Max! Yeah, but that's max damage, so they're going to take four points of damage each. True. So they should technically take one more than that each. Yeah, that keystrokes is Mike fixing that, I think. I think so, too. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Always forget the button. Not yet. Yes. Your turn. Now. Okay. The door opens at the don't you dumb waiter stops and there's a door. You can come out. <laughs> okay. We'll come out. Ooh, over here. Oh man, you took my spot. Oh, I did? It's okay. Oh, sorry. Right. It's not okay. <laughs> but it's too late now. I, I tell you that as you stop. Oh, oh no, you fucker. Sorry. We will attack the bottom right one then. There's a, yeah, I could target it. Is that the right button? No, not the right button. There's the right button. No, not that button. Move actions. Move actions. Alright. And it's dead. Next. Yep. Sorry. I make two guarded steps. Oh. Yep. I'm done. Next. Orthus. I'm just going to move you. All right, that's your turn. <laughs> Pretty much. Woo, best turn. All right. Better than the turns I spent in the belly of the polygulp. Uh, it's going to retarget to the witch, witch weird because he's closer. And misses. Kyle. How dare you! Don't you see how many arms I have? I'm gonna try to trick attack this uh, robot I'm standing by. You failed to put your bonus on it, so it didn't take that into account for uh, anything. Right. So you need to add a D4 to that damage. Or are you up to a D8 now? D6 or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. I am looking... It is a D8. This is D8, yeah. You didn't have tricked on it, so... An additional four on top of that. Okay. 
Pukki Pew. These things sting. Yes. All right. Um, being feeling rather annoyed um, uh, that that thing tried to attack me. Um, uh, it hurts Fairbank, more when they hit you, Kyle. Fairbank steps up to it um, and says, "You and says in Cyrunian, you stupid robot. I'm a witch weird. You're supposed to do whatever the hell I say, not attack me." And I'm gonna cast Jolting Surge. Just because I want to. Uh, Just because it's made of metal and you have a better chance of it. It's called it. Surge. His name is Surge. Hey, look at that. Surge, I hit go. it. Hell yeah. That's 46 electricity. Okay, it's dead. That's some garbage 46. So it's, yeah, but it's, it's dead. It's actually 10. But whatever. Oh, it's just three more? Okay, he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. It should be, right? Still alive. Yeah, yeah. It's a total of ten damage, yeah. Apparently it's still alive. Well, shit. You missed by one. Yeah, well, I, did you see that? <laughs> did you see I that garbage one, damage? One, one, two, three. It was impressive. My God. Got ya. Um, we will. Move down to here and attack this one. There's one. Okay. You actually. It's dead. Okay. Next one. All right, Brian. How high are the ceiling? I don't know. Like 30 feet? Okay. And from 10 foot high, I assume I'm completely over top of the computer console. Yes. Lovely. Six total. <laughs> Hi, Orthus. Come in and save the day. I can do that. What took you so long? He's driving Miss uh, Daisy, dude. The lift was uh, slow and I missed. Kyle! Well, hopefully I can finish it off. There we go. And it's dead. Got it right that time. Another thing you might do, Mike, is clear the initiatives to reset the round tracker. to examine the computers. Perhaps we can get some scrap off of those robots. Indeed. Possibly. Uh, maybe we should take a rest before then? Do you need a rest, Brian? I don't see why. I, I feel fine. We, we can rest later. I'm okay for now. Okay. Provided this computer doesn't explode, and I examine it before attempting to uh, uh, die, in, in, before I attempt to power it up. Okay. 
Oh, that's a really good point. Um, I'll look at the <laughs> dumb way to for a little bit. No, it doesn't appear there's any security to access this computer whatsoever. Wonderful. Anymore. Uh, well, yeah, except for the four. Ryan, robots, do you speak Kasatha or Cyrunian? No, but I have someone standing I'll, next to me that yeah, helped yeah, help yeah, me yeah. out. I'll, I'll, I'll come back. Oh, 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 it's all right then. Oh, good. I, I was just examining, seeing if there were some runes over there. That's all. Well, give me a computer check. I'm not doing the check. I'm just translating the words. All right. Okay, some of the data, though some of the data has been corrupted, the computer contains a trove of the monastery's records, information on the monks' prior travels, their veneration of the cycle, and their daily life. These records were maintained by the monastery's witch weird abbot, Balof Balfosi Jam. It's Belfouche. That's you know what? That's actually correct. Uh, the final entries detail you know? a sickness falling, a sudden sickness falling over the mission, quickly draining the monks of their life forces. He admits with shame that he couldn't extract the brain slices of the deceased to save their wisdom. Give me a culture check. Okay. I told you they were French. No. Brian, you know that the Kasathan culture tr tradition of extracting and communicating, communing with a living creature's memory stored within each brain slice. Okay. However, there is no such place in this room to keep such dial uh, delicate biological samples. Well, yeah, he said he wasn't able to retain them. So. Um, can I transfer this data to a data pad or something? He wasn't able to extract get them, the extract them, or yes. store them. Well, yeah, extract the brain slices. So if he wasn't able to extract them, there should be a place to store them. Because he didn't have a problem with storing them, he had a problem with getting them. Yes, exactly correct. So we we got to look for something that would store them. Well, on the there's there's maps on the wall, like star maps on the walls. Hell, it could be the Iadari for all we know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, while you're doing some stuff with the computer, you notice that there's maps on the computer as well. Oh, certainly uh, download those and in inspect those. Okay, yeah, they look pretty thorough. Like some star charts. Do they uh, compared to the ones that were out in the roof in the uh, in the dome? No, but the ones on the computer from where you're standing looks like the ones on the looks they look comparable to the ones on the walls there. Can you give me a physical science or piloting check, Kyle? Uh, yes. I can give a physical science. No, but check. he's he's the one that made the connection, not you. Oh, well, perhaps you would like my assistance in my, my opinion. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at hitting the books. But you could point out the connection you've made and see if anyone else does. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah. I mean, does, does this mean on. anything to, uh, y'all? Sounds like some nerd shit. I never <laughs> paid attention to that sort of stuff. Well, Brian, you know that the the realize that the map and the star map on the wall and the map of the computer represent a path through stars. Can you give me a mysticism check or a culture check? Oh, you mean to follow our stars? Yeah, I'll give you a culture. It's better. They both have one rank, but culture is... Well, you do notice that uh, every, the, every beginning 
has uh, every journey has a beginning. It's also written on some of the maps. Yeah. And that every beginning, journey has an end too, and the end of one journey is the beginning of another. So looking at the map, looking at the look at the walls, you realize that that beginning might be a planet. And since the evidence of Cathasis in the monastery, that planet might be their own. So I'm follow sure your own star. And if looking on the map, map in the wall, on the on the wall itself, you can notice that there's a, a circle labeled Kasath. How interesting. This might be their home world. Is this where your people made these people? <clears throat> you people. Oh, yeah, that's where the that's where we made the Kasatha. Yes, where we seeded uh, Kasath and uh, Akaton. That's pretty well known. So, does this circle look like anything different on the wall? Give me a perception. Yes, Kyle, you think there might uh, might be something behind it. Okay, let's Ooh, check it out. I don't want to damage it, but I do want to uh, see if there's a way to open it or... It appears that if you... It looks like it's a pressure... It's pressure uh, activating. I... Tell the others what I'm fixing to do, and then I press it. You press it, and uh, a section Where of the, on the a, wall is he? <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. A section of the wall opens up, revealing a pre-gap hybrid machinery meant to store living brain tissue. Okay. Uh, since Brian. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. No, 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 no. Brian. You feel a, a faint psychic echo of the final death of the brains once stored there. Suddenly, you're overcome with an intense sense of dread pervading the room as if their vision dims around the edges. And you feel your life force slipping from your body. And your, your legs, what weak-ass legs you have, and your, your, your telekinetic abilities keeping you standing, are just, it's, just, it's too much, and you fall to the floor. You fall prone to the floor and gain the exhausted condition. Because you're telepathic, right? I am. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Brian's like... <laughs> what the... Oh, It's like all the brains died at once. Yes, it's like a million voices called at once and then suddenly oh. were silenced. Bogus. After about a minute, though, the feelings pass and the exhausting condition also ends. However, you feel like you came remarkably close to being touched by death, Brian. Something horrible happened here. Something horrible happened here. I feel as if I was touched by death. Well, I report that, you know, uh, I don't think you gave consent. We probably... <laughs> Need to figure out what happens so it doesn't happen to us. You did find some really cool stuff here, though. Some uh, some cultural archaeological finds, some witch weirds, yeah, I'm and sure some Kasatha peoples. Be, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure the Starfinders would love to know about this stuff. Yeah, yeah. considering it's pre-gap. Yeah, indeed. Hmm. Was there a, was there a name of the the so so the the people here? There was a witch weird priest. Yeah. And some Kasathan monks. Yeah. Um. Is the is the does it give you the name of the uh, of the priest? Uh, the witch weird abbot. His name yes. is Balfosi Jam. That's right, Balfosi Jam. Balfosi Jam. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if he's like an ancestor of my old buddy Balfosi Jaily. Dom and Jaily. Mm. You're yeah. so full of it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you? <laughs> But yeah. these are traditional names. That's pretty much all. All the interesting here. It's a great database about their lives of prostration.
That's it. Rock on? Well. Well, I'm glad we found this stuff. I, I think this was such a really great idea. Thank you guys for having me come out here. The Starfinder uh, Society sorry. would be really pleased then to see all this wonderful, wonderful culture stuff. Yes. Uh, we might want to mention about, you know, the whole telepathic uh, death screen thing so that nobody else telepathic comes down and gets fucked around. Does that seem like something that'll happen again or just it happened at the reveal? Uh, after, after the thing was opened up and then it happened, it doesn't feel like it's going to happen again. Still important to know. Is there anything that can be done with that? It's definitely worth reporting because it was, you know, evidence. Yeah. Observe, report. And uh, what's it? Yeah, everyone forgets about that last one. What's the last Cooperate. one? Cooperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking Starfinders. Okay. Fucking Starfinders. Hmm. All right. So you guys want to head back? I guess we're done here. Perhaps uh, take a rest and dismantle some of these robots. Uh, so yeah. Nothing to be had from the robots, but unfortunately. But you did get the moss, and that gets you like 3,000 credits and some resource units. Nice. Eventually. Eventually. Uh, we will also do like a, a nice inventory of things. Just, you know, be thorough. Okay. Um. So the return where you first went underground... It's a 36 mile trip, so it takes about three days of spelunking to get back up because there was some shifting of the rocks. But you managed you want to give to... us a few days' rest, yeah. Go for it, a couple days, yeah, three days. Do I have to Oops. do that or something? Sorry, well, you have a button yeah. on the uh, on the menu that you what, could do it. What menu? Just, uh, at the bottom of the combat tracker. Oh. Rest. I'll take care of the rest of my hit points. We have another three days. Mm -hmm. That'll bring me full. Oh, you're doing it. Okay, cool. That brings you to four. Well, we could have done another uh, medical check on those days, too. We need an advanced med kit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys get back up there, and as soon as you get up to the top, uh, you have a message waiting on your Eco 4. Oh, you know, I do have an advanced med kit. An email oh, from... Med kit. Oh, if you're using an advanced med kit, then you succeeded on the second day on my full hit points. Okay. Once you receive above ground, your Eco 4 has an email from Arizand asking you to return home to the settlement as quickly as you can. Oh, uh, what's the date timestamp on the message? Uh, how, how, many day, how long has it been? Like four days ago. <laughs> that figure. Oh, uh, well, we uh, we radio back. We're on our way. Uh, uh, great, great uh, apologies. We were underground. Hey, literally. Yeah, you guys, you guys level four, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good, 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 good. Subterranean fucking exploration. Ugh, and that's actually where we're going to stop for the session because uh, we don't want to start part three of the module yet, do we? No, we don't. That'd be bad. Yeah, we can start that next time. Indeed, we can yeah, definitely start. with ten minutes to go. No, no, yeah. no, no. You guys are going to love the next session, though. It's going to be... I believe uh, Fairbanks is going to have a field day with oh, the, goody. Dip diplomatizing people. Diplomacy. I hope I get to bluff a few people. I'm actually better at bluff than diplomacy. So that puts two weeks from now as the 1st of October. Sounds good. Should be good. All right. Over Uno. Sounds good. All right. You wonderful heroes conquering the freaking uh, slug thing. 
Thank God and... I didn't die. <laughs> oh, that was so close. That was yeah. stupid it close. It's going to be a couple that more was... rounds. A couple more rounds. All That's taken. not the first time my characters have been swallowed whole. I just I'll kept tell you, though. Completely. I said two. And then I that kept thing... critting. Yeah, no, that thing, that thing, too, is just like, I was like, I've got like three actions I can take that can do significant damage. I was kind of hoping. And I used all of them. That I Two second level spell one. slots. I wanted to swallow one more person. Oh my gosh. But you robbed me of that. And you Confusion. shall pay. Confusion is a fun condition. Yeah, it is. All right. So there's any questions Thank for goodness for that, yeah. All right. No, fun session. Thanks no, it's for great, man. Yeah, you guys, you guys good. did good. It's good to have you guys here. <sighs> Take care, everyone. Sorry, I missed the uh, previous couple sessions. Hopefully, we're no, it's uh, okay. You got work, good man. Shape, we understand. Huh? Huh? These things happen. And they do. Uh, see you guys in a couple weeks. Indeed. Have a good, good yeah. couple weeks, people. All right.